The Cranbrook Educational Community is an education, research, and public museum complex in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. This National Historic Landmark was founded in the early 20th century by newspaper mogul George Goff Booth. It consists of Cranbrook Schools, Cranbrook Academy of Art, Cranbrook Art Museum, Cranbrook Institute of Science and Cranbrook House and Gardens. The founders also built Christ Church Cranbrook as a focal point in order to serve the educational complex. However, the church is a separate entity under the Episcopal Diocese of Michigan. The sprawling 319-acre campus began as a 174-acre farm, purchased in 1904. The organization takes its name from Cranbrook, England, the birthplace of the founder's father. Cranbrook is renowned for its architecture in the arts and crafts and Art Deco styles. The chief architect was Eliel Saarinen while Albert Kahn was responsible for the Booth Mansion. Sculptors Carl Mills and Marshall Fredericks also spent many years in residence at Cranbrook. Topic. Schools at Cranbrook. Cranbrook schools today comprise a coeducational day and boarding college preparatory upper school, a middle school, and Brookside Lower School. The first school to open on the Cranbrook grounds was the Bloomfield Hills School in 1922. Founded by George Booth, the Bloomfield Hills School was intended as the community school for local area children, of which there were then very few. The Bloomfield Hills School ultimately evolved into Brookside School. Following completion of the Bloomfield Hills School, Booth looked forward to building the Cranbrook School for Boys, an all-boys college preparatory school at which students from the Detroit area and abroad would come to reside. Booth wanted the Cranbrook School to possess an architecture reminiscent of the finest British boarding schools, and hired Finnish architect Eliel Saarinen to design the campus. Cranbrook's initial phase of building was completed in 1928. Over the years, the Cranbrook School for Boys campus grew to include Stevens Hall, Page Hall, and Coulter Hall. While primarily functioning as only residential spaces, Page Hall featured a smoking lounge as well as a shooting range. Lurchin Gymnasium, Keppel Gymnasium, and Thompson Oval were also constructed on the campus. In the 1960s, Cranbrook School for Boys also constructed a state-of-the-art science building named the Gordon Science Center. Realizing that young women would also need a place of their own to learn Ellen Scripps Booth, Booth's wife, pressured Booth into building a school for girls. Scripps Booth supervised the project, which she named the Kingswood School Cranbrook. Unlike her husband, Ellen encouraged Saarinen to come up with a unique interior design for the campus that was completely on his own. Instead of the several buildings that housed the Cranbrook School for Boys, the Kingswood School Cranbrook was contained within one building which included all necessary features. It housed dormitories, a dining hall, auditorium, classrooms, bowling alley, lounge, common areas, and a ballroom. The education at Kingswood School Cranbrook was primarily viewed initially as a finishing school although that would change over time. In 1986, the Cranbrook School for Boys and Kingswood School Cranbrook entered a joint agreement renaming the new institution the Cranbrook-Kingswood Upper School. Topic. Cranbrook Academy of Art The Cranbrook Academy of Art, one of the nation's leading graduate schools for architecture, art, and design, was founded by the Booths in 1932. By 1984, the New York Times would say that, 
The effect of Cranbrook and its graduates and faculty on the physical environment of this country has been profound. Cranbrook, surely more than any other institution, has a right to think of itself as synonymous with contemporary American design. The buildings were designed and the school first headed by Eliel Saarinen, who integrated design practices and theories from the arts and crafts movement through the international style. The school continues to be known for its apprenticeship method of teaching, in which a small group of students, usually only 10 to 16 per class 150 students in total for the 10 departments, study under a single artist in residence for the duration of their curriculum. The graduate program is unusual because there are no courses. All learning is self-directed under the guidance and supervision of the respective artist in residence. Beginning in 1983, a major exhibition of works by Cranbrook's faculty and graduates, entitled Design in America: The Cranbrook Vision 1925 to 1950, toured major museums in the United States and Europe. The Detroit Institute of Arts and Metropolitan Museum of Art co-authored a book detailing the works in the exhibit. Academics <laughs> 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 The school currently confers the following degrees Master of Architecture post-professional degree. Note, the Master of Architecture degree is not accredited by the National Architectural Accrediting Board. Master of Fine Arts <laughs> Notable alumni and faculty Notable alumni and faculty of the Art Academy include Harry Bertoia, Richard Dever, Charles Eames, Ray Eames, Wayland Gregory, Florence Knoll did not graduate, Daniel Liebskind and Aero Saarinen. In 1932, sculptor Marshall Fredericks was invited by Mills to join the staffs of the Academy and schools, teaching there until he enlisted in the armed forces in 1942. In 1987, Keith Herring served as artist in residence. Topic Cranbrook Art Museum Cranbrook Art Museum is a museum of contemporary art with a permanent collection including works by Charles and Ray Eames, Harry Bertoia, Major Grotel and Carl Mills, as well as Robert Motherwell, Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein. Completed in 1942 under the direction of architect Eliel Saarinen, the museum is housed in the same building as the Cranbrook Academy of Art. The museum closed in 2009 for a two-year renovation and expansion with the addition of a collections and research wing. The museum also offers tours of Saarinen House, which has undergone painstaking restoration beginning in 1977. The remaining areas of the house were completed between 1988 and 1994. The museum is accredited by the American Alliance of Museums. Sculptor Carl Mills' numerous works in Metro Detroit include those at Cranbrook Educational Community such as Mermaids and Triton's Fountain 1930, Sven Hedin on a Camel 1932, Jonah and the Whale Fountain 1932, Orpheus Fountain 1936, and The Spirit of Transportation 1952. Currently in Cobo Center, the newly expanded museum opened in November 2011 after two years of construction. The project restored aspects of the original building designed by Saarinen, made needed structural repairs, replaced windows, and upgraded mechanical systems. The museum features year-round, changing exhibitions as well as a new collections and education wing, an additional 20,000 square feet 1,900 square meters of storage and classroom space open to visitors by guided tour. 
Based on an open storage plan, the new wing allows the museum's entire collection to be seen. Topic. Cranbrook Institute of Science The Cranbrook Institute of Science includes a permanent collection of scientific artifacts, as well as displays of annual temporary exhibits. It also features a planetarium and a powerful telescope through which visitors may peer on selected nights. The museum grounds feature a life-sized statue of a stegosaurus. From 1946 to 1970, the Institute awarded the Mary Soper Pope Medal for Notable Achievement in Plant Sciences. Topic: <laughs> Cranbrook House and Gardens. Cranbrook House and Gardens are the centerpiece of the Cranbrook Educational Community Campus. The 1908 English Arts and Crafts style house was designed by Albert Kahn for Cranbrook founders George Goff Booth and Ellen Scripps Booth. Ten first-floor rooms can be seen on guided tours, and contain tapestries, hand-carved woodworking, and English Arts and Crafts style antiques. The upper floors of the house are used for the executive offices of the Cranbrook Educational Community. The 40-acre gardens were originally designed by George Goff Booth, and include a sunken garden, formal gardens, bog garden, herb garden, wildflower garden, oriental garden, sculpture, fountains, specimen trees, and a lake. Leonard Bernstein recalled composing portions of his Symphony No. 2, The Age of Anxiety, on the Cranbrook House Steinway Concert Grand Piano while residing there in April 1946. Bernstein had come to Detroit at the request of Zoltan Sepeshi to conduct the Detroit Symphony Orchestra at Music Hall. While visiting, he requested studio space where he could compose and Sepeshi had the piano moved from Cranbrook House into St. Dunstan's Playhouse. The house and gardens are open to the public from May through October. St. <laughs> Dunstan's Playhouse St. Dunstan's Playhouse, while not formally a part of the Cranbrook educational community, is located on the Cranbrook grounds near the Cranbrook House. The Playhouse, a 206-seat theater, houses the St. Dunstan's Theater Guild of Cranbrook. The Guild was founded in 1932 by Henry Scripps Booth, son of Cranbrook's founders George and Ellen Booth. In the summer months, the St. Dunstan's Theatre Guild performs in the outdoor Greek theatre adjacent to the Cranbrook House. The theatre was restored in 1990-91. Topic Historic Landmark 14 buildings making up the Cranbrook Complex were added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1973 and were further designated a National Historic Landmark in 1989, cited as being one of the most important groups of educational and architectural structures in America. The contributing buildings are, Brookside School Cranbrook Buildings and Grounds Offices Christ Church, Cranbrook Cranbrook Academy of Art Cranbrook Foundation Office Cranbrook House Pound Gardens Cranbrook Institute of Science Cranbrook School Cranbrook School Auditorium Edison House Faculty Housing Greek Theater at St. Dunstan's Kingswood School Cranbrook Visitor's Entrance Topic. See also Architecture of Metropolitan Detroit List of I Magazine Issues Number 3, Volume 1. Spring 1991 Tourism in Metropolitan Detroit List of National Historic Landmarks in Michigan 
National Register of Historic Places listings in Oakland County, Michigan. 